Hi everyone, Paul Whelan here. I hope you like the bedding systems that I gave away a couple of days ago and also the report that I released today. But now I want to tell you a story. So if you're sitting comfortably, then we'll begin. It's the story of the frustrated punter or how I went from watching paint dry to writing about horse racing and betting systems thanks to a chance discovery in the local charity shop. But before I start, here's my surprising admission. I used to find horse racing extremely boring. I thought it was a complete waste of BBC Sport airtime. And I actually thought it was like watching paint dry. But let me explain. Back in 1995, I saw an advert for a piece of betting system software and that completely changed my attitude to watching horse racing. Because then I started betting the horses and I gave my tips to colleagues where I worked. I gave everyone the first two home in the famously postponed Grand National in 1997, that was Lord Galeen and Suny Bay. And to everyone in the office I was something of a hero. But this was the truth of it. I'd only brag to people about my winning bets and back then I didn't keep records but over the course of time I know I was definitely losing money and quite often because I kept disappearing from the office to phone a tipster line that I was subscribed to I often got into trouble at work and I remember one summer evening in July of 1998 I blew the equivalent of three months mortgage payments on one horse and it lost and I'm embarrassed to admit this but betting had pretty much taken control of my life you see here's the thing making your betting pay is difficult Whilst working 9 to 5, most people don't have the time to spend hours and hours studying the form book or reviewing race videos. And it's fair to say that most tips to services and betting systems don't make a profit. And looking back, it was hardly surprising that I spent those years losing money. No matter how hard I tried, I found I was always having to top up my betting accounts because they leaked money. And then came my light bulb moment. I came across a book called Picking Winners in my local charity shop and rather than being based purely on form study it focused on facts, figures and statistics which I love. Now I'm not going to say this book changed my life but my betting certainly started to improve. After reading the book from cover to cover probably two or three times I realized I didn't have to rely on tipsters and other people's betting systems. After a few months trial and errors, and uh, it was mostly errors, I was able to rate races myself with a fair degree of accuracy and success. And I was almost making my betting pay. And put it this way, I started to lose less. After one full season, looking back at my records, the figures showed I would have broken even if it wasn't for the betting tax that was payable back then. And the next year was better still and I found that my hobby had cost me next to nothing, certainly uh, in cash terms. The next year was a significant milestone for me. The efforts I was putting into developing my own strategies started to pay dividends. It had taken me a full three seasons refining and developing my, my approach before I could finally say I'd made a profit for the year. It was only £428, but it was a profit. And meanwhile, I was also looking at other stats-based betting strategies. I learned how to uncover trends and, and how to research niche betting systems, just like those I gave to you earlier this week. And all the time, I was gaining confidence in my betting abilities. Now, back in 2004, I teamed up with a long-standing friend of mine, and we had the idea of publishing a helpful website that was going to serve as a roadmap for the frustrated punter. It was quite an ambitious goal, but we thought it was a worthy one too. And soon after, we showcased skybluekangaroo.com to the internet community. Now this is it back in the early days, and, and actually back then uh, there was quite a lot of different content on the site. But you can see there that we, we did have one section that was devoted to, uh, to casinos and gambling. Uh, this is it a bit later, in 2008 I think this is. Different design, but now it is focused purely upon uh, horse racing and betting systems 
and today Sky Blue Kangaroo sits on a uh, on a blog format and it's updated two or three times a week. Now when it came online back then Sky Blue Kangaroo was one of the first in a new breed of horse racing and betting systems review websites and in more than five years of reviewing and writing about betting systems and racing tipsters I'd often thought about releasing my own service. I'd often thought about it but I always seemed to end up deciding against actually doing it and this is what put me off the idea. You see having spent many many hundreds of pounds on systems and tipsters in the past I'd been disappointed on almost every occasion and most services don't actually provide much of a service anyway they simply spoon feed their customers with names of horses with no explanation behind their selections and quite simply the vast majority of betting systems and tips to services don't live up to the hype and I just didn't want to find myself pigeonholed as, as just another chancer releasing an overhyped system and making all sorts of false promises and the truth is Betting services that actually deliver are about as easy to find as rocking horse poo. And that's why I'd always been against releasing my own betting service. Until last year. You see, I've got literally dozens of obscure little betting systems that I've researched and tracked, but because they focus more often than not on bigger priced value odds horses they can and they regularly do they go through long losing spells and I know from experience that can be extremely frustrating as a paying subscriber which is why I very rarely share them but I still knew deep down that I could bring at least some of my betting strategies to the public now early in the uh, in the new year of 2010 I spent a lot of my time agonizing over which of my methods could best be presented in a racing service that people might be prepared to pay for and I also desperately wanted to provide a much higher quality service with well researched information that doesn't patronize members by spoon feeding them horses to back and in May of 2010 I was finally happy to unveil a racing service I was proud to share with a very limited number of like-minded people. Now I've got a lot more to tell you about what's really exciting me about this very soon including a report on how the service has fared in its very first year. But for now if you had all but given up hope of ever finding a reliable betting service please just ponder on this. The method that I released last summer as my first membership service had already been one of the foundations of my personal betting strategies for nearly eight years. And it returns a profit about eight to nine months every year. It's, it's not a wonder system and it's not a cash machine like you see advertised in these emails that we all get every day of the week. It doesn't make a profit every month. But, uh, but yeah, it, it makes a profit typically about eight to nine months every year. And in fact, last year we saw nine profitable months and three losing months. And also there were winners at 28 to 1, 25 to 1, 22 to 1, 20 to 1, 16 to 1, 14 to 1, 11 to 1, 10 to 1 and many more besides. In the next couple of days, I'm going to tell you more about what this service has been delivering. Keep an eye on your inbox for the next email from me, Paul Whelan. It'll be arriving soon. And if you've got any questions at this stage, I'd love to hear from you. So please send me an email to paul at skybluekangaroo.com or there's a link uh, uh, further down this page. That's all for today, folks. Thanks very much for watching and I'm looking forward to sharing some more news with you very soon. Enjoy your punting. <laughs>